Every single month on this YouTube channel, we do a $100 gift card giveaway to speakeepshop.com. Now, how do you enter? Well, it's easy. All you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel, and just like that, you're entered. At the end of the month, I will choose a random subscriber to win the $100, so good luck to all of you guys. However, if you don't want to wait until the end of the month and you want to buy some keeps right now, then just use my discount code ENCODED for 5% off every speaker shop order. Alright, let's get right into the video now, shall we? So this is the Xingxiao 12x12, and if I'm being completely honest, it's probably one of the worst cubes in my entire collection. Now, okay, why do I think this way? Well, let me explain. So about a year ago, Xingxiao unveiled their Xingxiao 12x12, making it the very first 12x12 to ever be mass produced. Now, there was a lot of hype, a lot of people were talking about it, so I decided, why not get one for myself? So I did, and I thought, you know, I really like big cubes, it's gonna be fun, and I'm just gonna do a couple solves here and there, and you know, just really have a great time solving this 12x12 Rubik's Cube. But turns out, that was not the case. I unboxed on my channel, I did a couple turns, and I realized this cube just turns absolutely terribly. Now, look, if I had a 3x3 that turned this badly, frankly, it wouldn't be that bad because it's a 3x3, it doesn't take that long to solve. However, this is a 12x12. So it being a 12x12 added with a terrible turning meant that the solving materials on this cube would probably be absolutely horrendous. And so what did I do? Well, I just never bothered to actually solve it. I just put it down on the ground and just never touched it ever again. That is until now. So why am I unveiling this puzzle back again? Well, it's because I had an idea. So you guys have probably seen videos of people getting a watermelon and then a bunch of rubber bands and then just stacking the rubber bands on top of the watermelon until it eventually exploded. And so after watching a couple of these videos again, I decided, what about I try doing the exact same thing, except with my 2 by 12 Rubik's Cube. Like, I have a ton of rubber bands right here, I have a cube that I don't use, so I decided, why not just do it? So hey, this should be fun, this should be interesting, so let's get right to it now, shall we? Alright, so I got my rubber bands right here, I have my cube, and let's just get started now, I guess. Now, I think it's fair to say that if this video was just me putting rubber bands on a Rubik's Cube, and basically just that, I don't think this video would be very interesting. So, I asked you guys on Instagram to send me some questions, and yeah, we're just gonna be doing a little Q&A while I put the rubber bands on, and this should be a lot of fun, so let's get started now. So, first rubber band, there you go, and yeah, I'm just gonna keep on putting it on. So, let's see the first question here. What is your future goals? Well, honestly, right now with the YouTube channel, my big goal for the longest time was to hit 100,000 subscribers. And now that that was accomplished, you know, I needed a new goal and honestly right now I think I'm just going to just try to make the YouTube channel as big as possible So, you know, not really focusing on the numbers just continuously making videos and just keep on going from there You know just having fun The thing is at this point I realized that my YouTube channel really doesn't have any limits because you know when I first started the channel The biggest I thought I would ever reach was like 10,000 subscribers and I've been able to do like way more than that So I decided I just wanted to see how far I could go and just continuously making videos and it should just be a lot of fun All right, so next question is from Meteor Cries and he asks Advice for a small channel trying to catch other people's eyes? Uh, yeah, that's a really good question. Uh, I feel like there's really no clear answer because every single channel is different, and so, you know, there's different ways that every single channel grows. But you know what? I'm just gonna give the stereotypical advice. Just try to do things that other people aren't doing. You know, it's kind of called, like, market making or something, where you're just trying to find a niche that hasn't been explored yet, but you know that people want, and so, you know, just trying to find that niche and just keep on going with it. And then on top of that, I think it's really just hours in, hours out, you know, just gotta put in a ton of work into it. And if I'm being completely honest, YouTube isn't for everyone, but, you know, if you really put the work inside, I think it's gonna be worth it. Alright, Connor asks, how's life? Dude, I love these questions, it's like so chill right now. Uh, you know what, life is really good. You know, obviously 100k was like all I was thinking about for like the longest time, and now that I've been able to hit that, I've been able to just like start uploading weekly and just really try to relax with the channel more. And the thing is, like the channel is still doing really well despite that. So you know, right now I'm kind of getting the best of both worlds. You know, I'm able to focus on things other than YouTube, but at the same time, my YouTube channel is still doing really well. Uh, so yeah, it's been pretty nice. Benjamin asks, what was your all-time favorite video to make? Well, to be honest, I'm not really that sure. Uh, I think maybe the vlogs, because the vlogs are always like super fun to, you know, edit everything together and just make a nice little like short film about me going to competition. But I definitely think that my favorite video to watch was my video where I basically recapped my entire cubing journey, which was called How Cubing Changed My Life. Like honestly, whenever I'm bored, I just like to watch that video because it's just like a really good recap of just like where my channel has gone over the years. And uh, yeah, that's probably my favorite video on this entire channel. Next question asks, did you have a routine for balancing school, cubing, YouTube, family life, etc.? Well, if I'm being completely honest, right Right now, at the moment, YouTube isn't really that much work, you know, I'm only uploading once a week, so in reality, it's only like 10 hours of work per week. However, there was a pretty long period of time where I was uploading daily, but there was also school at the same time, and during that week, I just had to be like really, really focused, you know, I remember like right after I finished homework, I just worked on a video, and then, you know, by the time I'm done with the video, and by the time I'm done with everything, it was around 9 o'clock, and I had to get ready to go to sleep. Uh, so yeah, there was a few weeks where it was just a lot of work, but now, at the moment, it's honestly not that bad. Next question asks, why did you stop posting every day? Uh, frankly, I was just very burnt out. 
I think the reason why I uploaded every single day was because I really wanted to hit 100k so badly and I was able to do that but you know afterwards I decided this was time for me to take a break because I remember for like a good like six months straight literally all I thought about the entire day was YouTube which at the time was really fun but I decided that I needed a break you know I can't really sustain that for the longest time now okay I'm looking at this cube right now and I'm not sure how much this is doing but you know what I still have like another box of our bands left so it should be okay all right Enzo asks do you think that's going to be one day where you reach 1 million subscribers well right now I really don't think that's ever going to happen because you know there's no cubing channel in the US that has ever reached that however then again I never thought I'd ever reach 100,000 subscribers so who knows maybe I'll just keep on working on it and maybe I'll reach that someday you know I recently got my YouTube silver play button and I thought wow this is so cool but imagine getting a gold play button that would be even cooler but honestly right now 1 million subscribers just really isn't in my mind you know right now I'm just really thinking about just growing the channel as much as possible but not really focusing too much on the numbers and it's been nice next question says how did your family react when you hit 100,000 subscribers uh yeah they were like super 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 proud you know because frankly like they see how much work I'm putting to this channel and you know they know like every single second of it because a lot of times while they're sleeping you know I'm still like editing videos in my room and they'll like enter my room and just see me editing at like 2 o'clock in the morning so yeah they know that I put a ton of work into it uh, on top of that my friends went absolutely crazy you know all my friends started hyping me up so much and yeah that was a very very good day for me right, another question asked how can I grow my channel like you uh yeah once again it's just like hard work but honestly I think what's more important though is that you just can't give up you know I feel like with YouTube a lot of people get stuck at that first step you know they kind of first get started and their first videos don't do very well and they just kind of quit like that but frankly if you're trying to run a YouTube channel you cannot have that mindset you know you got to be consistent you can't be discouraged by a couple bad videos you just got to keep on going with it you know my channel I've been running it for the past five years so you know although people like to say that like my channel grew really fast you know it was five years leading up to this point that was able to make it like grow so fast the way it is right now he's okay this is like a lot of rubber bands and I'm surprised that the key was still like holding up perfectly uh but you know so we'll just continue going now this next question what is the best tip to give to a beginner uh well frankly if you ask me I don't really treat getting fast at cubing as like something that's super important you know I feel like cubing is really what you make of it and if like there's no intrinsic motivation for you to get faster at cubing then honestly just don't because I don't think it's going to help you that much if you're not passionate about it but then if you want to become faster at cubing and you don't know where to get started then honestly just get a decent speed cube do a lot of solves watch a lot of videos learn some algs and yeah like there's really no quick and easy way to do it it's just really time in time out Vladdy asks will you continue cubing for the rest of your life uh honestly I wouldn't be surprised if I did like here's the thing right like cubing itself isn't really anything too serious and so yeah I don't really see myself quitting that unless I find a new hobby now as for the channel I feel like I'm probably just going to keep on doing the channel for as long as possible you know for me it's really important that I don't stop I just keep on growing it more and more and uh yeah it's exciting all right I think last question for now how many subscribers did you have a year ago um I think about 40,000 or so like I remember hitting 50,000 subscribers around December of last year so yeah I think I had around 40,000 last year I mean hey what could you say the channel's been growing a lot a lot of hard work and uh, yeah it's finally paying off okay I think that's enough questions for today I'm just gonna put that away and I'm gonna be focusing on this puzzle Guys, uh, I wonder if this thing still turns. Um, yeah, I don't think it does. Like, okay, the thing is, there's like so much pressure on these middle layers, but I'm not completely sure if it's ever going to actually like explode like I want it to. Jeez, I did not anticipate this taking so long. Uh, you know, the rubber band really just went between the pieces. I don't even care at this point. Oh shoot guys, there's like a couple pieces coming out right now. <laughs> Look at that. Um, okay, well, uh, that's some progress. Yeah, okay, it is not looking very good right now. Uh, but we're just gonna keep on going because I still have some more left. So yeah, we can just continue this going. Jeez, okay, so how is this cube like still staying together? I'm honestly pretty impressed because this is a pretty like, you know, solid mechanism, not gonna lie. Oh god, there's like a gigantic like crack forming right now. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna keep on putting more right there. You know, just like more right on that crack right there. Yeah, okay, just keep on like playing with fire right now. Oh my gosh, that is so many pieces. Oh my gosh, like you, you see, it's just like all put together by the rubber bands. I did not expect the rubber bands to keep it keep together. But yeah, what, what even is this right now? I feel like that's something that you just don't see every day. <laughs> yeah, what am I looking at right now? Like, okay, actually, let me take a picture with this really quick. And come on, just get the last couple of parts out there. Okay, I think a mission has been accomplished. Well then, there are just like pieces all over my room at this point. And frankly, I'm not sure what else I could do with this. Uh, I think that's enough for today. Anyways, that's all for this video. If you like what you saw, make sure you give me a like, subscribe. That's all for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.